Welcome back to my channel. You are tuned in to Wine Around the Corner. We're here, we talk about all things wine, from white wines, red wines, dry wines, and also sweet wines. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in store for y'all today, please stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, turn on your post notification bell, so you can stay up on all my new videos. That now, I let's go ahead and get to sipping, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. I told y'all in my last video that I had a special treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go ahead and take a road trip up towards uh, Stonewall, Texas, which is in wine country here in Texas. Um, they call it um, Hill Country, but it's a lot of wineries up in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys along on this road trip. I absolutely had an amazing time uh, at the winery and I want to share my experience with you. So that way, if you're ever in the area, um, y'all, if you're into wine, go ahead and take a trip up to Bluemont uh, Vineyard and they were absolutely amazing the staff was absolutely amazing uh, we had a great time we had nice conversations so y'all will see you know what what we did while we were up there i tried to get a little bit of footage for y'all um bring your cameras i don't think that they'll mind you filming there um they just recently opened this month earlier this month and we were actually, me and my husband were actually their second guest, really their official first guest, because we actually made reservations. So we were their first guest. Um, but we had an amazing time up at, up at Blue Mind Vineyard. Um, once again, I'll have all their description in the description box below. Make sure that y'all tag them, share their video, show them some love, show me some love as well. So let's go ahead and get this road trip on the on the way so we can go ahead and check out the vineyard and y'all can see um, what it was like for us and our experience at Blue My Vineyard up in Stonewall, Texas. Stay tuned. So you guys, we finally made it and we are at Blue Bluemont Vineyards. And so we're walking up now. It is absolutely beautiful out here. This is the surprise that I wanted to show you guys. So we are at the market. We're getting ready to go and check in. Sorry for the bad angle. Hi, how are you? Hi. We're getting ready to check in, so I'll check back with y'all. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Becca. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Bluemont Vineyard. Welcome to Texas. Hey, I'm Travis. I'm the Director of Photography here at Bluemont Vineyards. Welcome. Hi, I'm Kim Zersmeet. I'm part of the founding family that started this. We're my vineyard.
if you are really serious about drinking wine, try different wines. Just try them. Like especially in grocery stores, like that's such a niche. You could go to wineries like this that are unique, but in the grocery stores, people mm -hmm. almost probably need a resource. We all have a different palate. We all taste things different. That's why I know I'm like, uh, like I, I don't think I can go back to a box wine now. You guys ready for another cake? Maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is delicious though. It's just a, it's a, almost an elevation of it. Yeah. It changes you. Why? It changes you. It drink. You know, mm -hmm. it really has the ability to be eloquent. It and once you get there, it's like you're like, oh, they're definitely a different level. Yep, they are. Okay, y'all, so we are leaving the winery right now and we had an absolutely amazing time. I didn't film tasting the wine, but um, it was simply amazing. So if y'all want to ever, if you're ever in the Texas area and you're in wine country, you can definitely come and check out um, the market at Blue, Bluemont Vineyard. There's their sign right there. And um, y'all, it is simp it is so beautiful out here. The vines, the the um grape vines, they're not um green yet, but I'm gonna go walk over and show y'all the vineyard behind the property real quick because I want y'all to see. Look at this, y'all. Nothing but land and like right behind me I don't know if y'all can see hang on a minute I was trying to zoom y'all in but right behind me would be where the grapevines the vineyards would be um, they don't usually start getting green until about um, she said um, Becca which was one of our hostesses she said they don't normally start getting green until like uh, April or uh, like March, April, maybe like mainly in spring and summer, they'll grow, they'll you know, they'll start getting green. So, yeah, it's so pretty out here, y'all. It feels so good, and this is one of our cooler days here, but it feels so good outside. Y'all, excuse my hair, I just got my scarf on to hold my hair back, but. It's so pretty, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. It's so peaceful out here. Just nothing but... And there's vineyards. Nothing but vineyards all up and down 
um the highway that we've traveled on but i just wanted to share y'all share with y'all the um the vineyard and the winery and just show you a little bit of where we were there's another building back there this is a new winery so they really haven't gotten everything uh up and running but i think once everything is said and done it's gonna be beautiful we were in this building right here but there's another building right there and then there's also another building right um back here which they're gonna probably use for wedding venues. So anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share that. And so we're gonna go ahead and um, get on the highway and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Bye. All right, so as you guys can see, we had an amazing time at Blue My Vineyard in Stonewall, Texas. If you're ever in the area, go check them out. They were, they were just, the staff, the staff was, they were awesome. I mean, the staff was great. Uh, we, we really enjoyed ourselves at Blue My Vineyard. Um, like I said, again, they're a new vineyard. They just opened. So I hope that you guys like the footage. So their vines, the crop. Um, we had a freeze a couple of years back, so it killed a lot of the crops off. So they're trying to, um, refertilize the crops. So that way, once it's time, once the, the weather gets a little warmer, they can go ahead and, um, plant their crops. So they'll have a beautiful, you know, green, um, you know, vineyard for their crops to grow in, for the vines to come up in. So I believe like once it's said and done, I think it's going to be so pretty once the vines start coming up and you can actually see the grapes. So we'll probably most likely go back later in the year once it warms up a little bit to see how the crops have come and to see, you know, what changes they've made to the, um, to the winery, the vineyard and whatnot. But anyway, enough of that. While we were there, we did a taste testing. We tasted three different wines. I ended up purchasing two of the wines. One is a white wine and also the other one is a red wine. But these wines are not flavored with any other fruit but the grapes, okay? They also have a vineyard in uh, Virginia as well. And that's where they, they um, imported these from, which is from their Virginia vineyard. Um, because like I said, again, their crops, they're still working on getting the crops up and going for their vineyard in Texas, but they do have, if you're in, ever in the Virginia area, they also have a beautiful, beautiful, uh, vineyard in Virginia as well. So y'all definitely check out their website, Blue My Vineyards, Virginia, and you can see photos of, uh, their winery in Virginia as well. So if you're ever up in that area, you can definitely stop by that um, vineyard as well. But I want to go ahead and taste these with y'all on camera so I can give you my opinion and my thoughts. So the first one that we are going to get into is called the Field Blend. Come on, focus. There we go. That's the Field Blend. It says Stonewall, Texas on the front. It's not going to focus for me. But anyway, this is the red one. It's 13.3% by alcohol. So, you know, pretty, pretty potent. I believe a couple of glasses of this, you'll be doing fine. And on the back of the bottle, the bottle is so cute, y'all. It says, Blue My Vineyard, explore the sincerity of this land while savoring unparalleled wines. So this bottle is, is pretty to me. I, I'm going to keep the bottle. But that's what it looks like. I've already popped the cork on it. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. And um, we're going to go ahead and taste this one together. Yeah. When I smell this wine, this wine is, is strong, but, and it, it smells like there's some spice in it. This is more of a drier wine. And when you first smell this wine, I smell the grapes in it. I do smell the grapes. Now from tasting this before, um, when we were at the vineyard, it, it, the taste is nice. Let's go ahead and get into the taste of it. This one is nice, y'all. This one is nice. It's a little bit on the bitter side. It's a little bit bitter, but it 
this is a nice wine. What I taste in that wine, it's a full body wine. It's full body. You can definitely taste the grapes in it. Um, like I said again, um, the hostess, she, one of the hostesses, she did tell me, um, shout out to Becca. She was so sweet, her, Kim, and also Travis. Um, they're such a great team, but she, Becca did tell us that this wine, both of these wines were made, um, just strictly from the grapes. Okay. Nothing else. Just strictly from the grapes. I do get a little bit of like spice in this one. Like there's something in the background of it. There's something in the background. And I said this when I was at the winery. I did point it out that there's something in the background of this one that gives it a little bit of a, not spiciness so much, but there's something in the background. I cannot put my finger on it. We did this um, particular tasting with a bunt cake. Um, they have a company here in Texas called All About Bunts, which is what they pair their wines with at Blue My Vineyard. And we did three different bunt cakes um, with three different wines. And this was one of them. I can't remember the bunt cake that we tasted this one with, but the bunt cake that we tasted this particular wine with, we felt, me and my husband felt, that it would probably go better with um, with a cheese or um, some butter crackers, um, some prosciutto or something like that, like a charcuterie board, okay, type of deal with the meats and cheeses and crackers and maybe some olives on it. With the cake, it was good. Don't get me wrong, it was good. But to us, and we did mention that to Becca and Kim, that it probably would have went better with um, or something like a charcuterie board with maybe some fruits, cheeses, nuts, and crackers on it. That's just what we tasted in it. This is a good wine. This is a very good wine. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. This one, again, is called the Field Blend. Focus. There we go. This one, again, is called the Field Blend. Okay. And I like this one. This one is a nice red one to try, okay, if you're um, heading over to Blue My Vineyards. Right. And something to mention about Blue My Red, these you're going to have to get exclusively through Blue My, or either you can order them online, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll make sure to get all that information for you. But um, so these are exclusive. So if you want a bottle of the field blend or one of the other ones that I'm going to show you, you have to get it directly from them. That means going directly to their vineyard or either ordering them from Blue Mont directly. So I just wanted to, you know, put that in there in case y'all are looking for this one at your local grocery store or um, at, you know, anywhere where you like, you know, go buy your spirits and wines from. You probably will not find this one. You have to get this directly through Blue Mont Vineyard. All right. The next wine, I'm excited, y'all. So I'm I'm probably all over the place with this one, but I'm so excited. Um, the next one that we're gonna go ahead and taste is called Spontaneous Overflow. There we go. And the bottle looks like this. All right. Oh, she actually had a story behind this one. It was it was real cute how they came up with the name of this wine. And she also mentioned that. This wine is actually supposed to be a little bit darker than what it is, but because of the growth of the vines that particular season, they didn't, um, the wine didn't come out as dark as it was supposed to be for a white wine. So they just went with it. They went on and put it out and this one is beautiful. I have a new glass. Let's go ahead and taste this one. All right, so this one, you can really, really taste, you can, not taste, you can really, really smell the grapes in it. You can really, really smell the grapes in this. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers, y'all. Oh. 
Oh, this one I really, really liked. Um, this one reminds you of more of a... Mm. Spontaneous Overflow, it definitely reminds you of summertime. That's what this one reminds me of. It reminds me of summertime because it's crisp. It's on the drier side as well. But it just reminds me of summertime with the wind blowing a little bit or spring. I would even say more of a spring going into summer with the wind blowing. You know, you just kind of hanging out chilling. You're on your patio or you taking this to a picnic or something or you just with friends and y'all just outside having maybe a barbecue and you got something nice, light, and crisp. I like this right here. Spontaneous Overflow. I love it. And this one is definitely... It's just fresh. It's so fresh. It's not sweet. It has a teeny, teeny bit of sweetness, a teeny bit of sweetness, but it's more like fresh and crisp. I just, I, it's full bodied as well. The taste of the grape in here, you definitely taste the grape. You can definitely taste the grapes. And even though uh, Becca did say that um, the grape, the grapes weren't, um, when they, I guess when they, you know, harvested the grapes, the wine didn't come out as dark as they wanted it to. But I still think this wine is chef's kiss. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, um, some mistakes are meant to be made. I, I don't see where they went wrong with this one. I don't see where they went wrong with this one at all. It's fresh. It's airy. It screams spring, summertime, outside with friends, having a good time. This is what this wine screams. If you're into white wine, this one is the one. Like I said again, you can order these online. Check out bluemontvineyard.com. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can order these if you're not in the Texas area and you're not able to go directly to the seller. These, you can definitely find and order these uh, from Blue Mont Vineyard. I'm going to just go ahead and, and recap. These two right here, Feel Blend and also Spontaneous Overflow. White wine and a red wine that you cannot go wrong with, okay? And while we were there, y'all, they also offer um, fresh made, let me see, what is this? Fresh made apple cider donuts. We'll just go ahead and taste one on camera. But they also offer apple, apple cider donuts. Also, they offer um, different condiments. We got the apple, come on, focus. We got the apple butter. We got this apple butter right here. And they also have, um, if I'm not mistaken, they have a peach, uh, like a salsa, a peach salsa, which we didn't get, but I'm pretty sure that was probably good as well. But, um, so they offer different, they offer different things. They also sell different stuff. Let's try one of these donuts, y'all, because I've, I've been wanting to taste one of these. Mmm. Mmm. These are so good. Mmm. These donuts are so good, y'all. Off camera, because I'm, I'm we keeping it 100 here on this channel. I'm gonna be eating one of those donuts with this apple butter. Yeah, those donuts are so freaking good. And today is Monday, it's President's Day. We got these donuts Saturday. 
and they are still fresh as we as as if we just bought them. They're still fresh. They're so soft. Mmm. Mmm. You don't have to just get wine. They have other things that you can get as well. And those donuts, they are so good, y'all. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you're ever in Stonewall, Texas, if you're ever within the Houston area, or if you're ever around Dallas or Austin or San Antonio, y'all, if you're going on a wine trip, you want to go ahead and you want to go and taste some wines, and you're in one of those areas that are not too far from there, make sure that you either book a tour, because you can do that on the tour bus, Book you a tour to go up to Hill Country. Make sure that you definitely go and visit Blue My Vineyards. That is, again, Blue My Vineyards. They also have a vineyard in Virginia as well. You can check them out. Make sure that you check out their website. This is not a sponsored video, but I wanted to show them some love because they showed us, me and my husband, they showed us some serious love, y'all. Though The staff at Blue My Vineyard, they are awesome. Thank you again to Becca. Thank you again to Kim. And also thank you again to Travis. You showed us a beautiful time at Blue My Vineyards and we want to return the love back. So if you're ever in the area, make sure that you go and check them out. Um, we had an amazing time. The facility, amazing, 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 amazing. It is so beautiful. So if you haven't checked out the earlier clips, go and check those out. But also make sure that you share this video. Make sure that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you share Blue Mont Vineyards with your friends and your family. And Thank you all for supporting me. Once again, I appreciate you. And until the next time, let's stay sipping. Mm. Mm -mm.